Okay. <laughs> right now we are driving from the Dead Sea to Petra, and this is a stop along the way. We just saw our first camels. No it's gotten from uh, more humid, uh, more elevation climate, to now, I mean, mountainous topography with a lot of changing colors, but more dry. And uh, as you can see, lots of sand and rock, rock. Good sign. The rock looks a little chalky <laughs> though. It's not the rock that we want to climb. The rock isn't yet the orange sandstone that I pictured when we were coming to Jordan. But I do feel like we are getting more into a desert like climate. And what is Petra? You'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be our guide. I think so. Actually, we have two guides, so they probably know a little bit more than me. Alex and Thomas? Alex, are you gonna be the guide today? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, where do we go? Uh, We've learned that <laughs> Alex okay, knows I don't think everything. Alex is the guide. I cannot be the guide. Maybe you can be the guide, Sasha. So I'm, I'm the guide. You seem pretty excited about this place, <laughs> Sasha. Oh my god. Well, I have it on the GoPro, but look at this. Wait. Thank you. You like me? You like me? <laughs> what? Who, me? <laughs> I never knew camels were such characters. He's like... <laughs> characters? <laughs> shouting down there because our guide and the local guides had a disagreement so we are exploring the back road of Petra going behind to get up on top to look down at the treasury pretty the cool cheers <laughs> there's you bro it looks like, look like a Neanderthal <laughs> yeah. It's not that far below, but it's super small. Snack time. <laughs> what are you eating, Sasha? I don't know. But it's like really just was like basically like here's your sandwich and then I was like nah. No, I'm like <laughs> eat it. <laughs> Last night after going to Petra, we went uh, like on this mountain road for, I don't know, like gravel road up into the mountains. Drove like half an hour on gravel. So we're in the middle of nowhere, you can say. And now we're at the, this like eco, what is it called? Eco, eco lodge. 
and uh, everything is like vegetarian. The solar panels on the hotel, uh, they uh, produce all the electricity they need themselves. So in the room there were like candle lights, uh, no plugs for our cameras and stuff, so we didn't get to charge anything. But um, that was nice, it was relaxing. No internet, nothing, just uh, chilling. And people like in this hotel, like people are coming from all over the world just to relax, do yoga, uh, stuff like that. But today we're going climbing. And uh, I will probably climb with Sasha and uh, Alex will climb with his dad. I still don't have like an interview or anything with Alex and that's because I think he doesn't want to be in front of the camera all the time. Uh, I don't want to shove the camera in his face. So, um, but he's, uh, he said that he wants to eventually. Uh, it just uh, needs to be the right time. It's really hard to look, I look straight into the sun. But now we're gonna drive uh, two hours that direction to the climbing. Over and out from the Eco Lodge. So there's so much potential here, I think. You see the tooth behind us? The narrow one? That looks really cool. We've seen like many, many lines like that. But I think the majority of the routes are gonna be pretty easy. Or not easy, but like 60 plus. Because the, the rock is so featured. Um, well, it's either really, really easy or quite difficult because there are some feature-less yeah. regions. But those are more like, I mean, really really hard like I don't know if it's possible hard yeah but look at over here actually and I'm looking at this wall like there's so many walls in the rock in general is really good quality it's just like we need to clean a lot of it mm -hmm. yeah there's like a layer of sand on the rock it's pretty normal for a new development yeah.
Good job, Sasha. Thank you. How did it feel? It's a good line. I would say the climbing here is uh, really resembling of the Red River Gorge. Like this wall is crimpy sandstone and really good quality. I mean, I think that this route is the best quality climbing that we've had in Jordan so far. And we haven't been to Wadi Rum yet, but we were in the north. And this whole region, like this whole valley, has good rock and good potential. It's just, this is an 8A plus and it's the hardest climb established here. 
Um, I think that maybe we could find a little bit harder, but I don't think that there's going to be too much harder just given the breaks in the rock and like there are no hands and stuff. Um, but I mean, this was a good challenge and it was nice to climb yeah. like something that challenged my fingers too. This route is really good quality, like given American and European standards, this is a five star climb. Yeah. I'm like, I'm pumped about it because we haven't had really awesome climbing yet on this trip. I mean, it's only like our fifth day, but still it was nice to get like some real climbing in. Mm. What are you doing, Morad? Um, <laughs> Cutting the trees? Making a piece of art. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. And Vincent? Working hard up there, huh? You're just chilling? Yeah. Love the new harness. Looking good. How do you feel about camping tonight? Coming from like four and five stars of hotels. <laughs> it's a contrast. I actually feel like excited to be in this zone and be camping because it's nice to mix it up and also just be a little bit more removed from the touristic scene of the Jordan that we've seen. Shobak is like uh, about an hour and a half or two hours away from Wadi Rum and a bit less established, actually a lot less established. Maybe one other team of Italians or something have been here. Um, and we went and did like an A day plus and a 7C plus. Yeah. So we're going to be here one more day and then maybe leave tomorrow night to get to Wadi Rum. Yeah. We hope. We hope. Because we've been moving around so much, you know, it's a new place every day. Yeah. And it would be nice to just put our stuff somewhere and. This, yeah. Uh, yeah, this trip we've been moving around basically every night in a different place and it's a really cool way to get a tour of Jordan. Um, but I think also you kind of feel travel more when you don't get to unpack a little bit and feel settled. Like I've just wore the same thing as yesterday because I couldn't unpack. Uh, which is like, I guess, one negative to being constantly on the go. And I travel a lot, like just annually a lot. 
And I feel like when I feel the most grounded and settled is when I stay in one place for more than like a night at a time. Yeah. And what do you, uh, do you have anything to add, uh, to, uh, Alex? We are the beers. Yeah, we are <laughs> the beers. Vincent, do you want beer as well? Uh, no, actually not. You don't crave totally the beer? People love that. Oh, are you really German? I guess I used to be. Used to be German, not anymore? Mm. Hipster German. Hipster German. Yeah. Speedy jacket. Speedy jacket. Speedy jacket. I don't know how this footage is gonna be. We'll find out. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs>